motto of De Vilbus High School, Finis Origine Pendet. The end depends upon the beginning. We present to you the Thomas A. De Vilbus High School, Toledo, Ohio. Here, some 2,200 students and 85 faculty members work together, perpetuating a great American tradition, the privilege of education for every child. Celebrating the Vilbus High School's 21st year, we offer this documentary film of the school's daily activities. The central figure on our set is youth. His many important roles are enacted in the classroom, the auditorium, and on the athletic field. Thomas de Vilbus, in his youth, caught the vision splendid of service, truth, honor, beauty. May we, like Thomas de Vilbus, lose ourselves in service for others, that in this house of his, every noble purpose may be achieved on our journey toward immortality. Mr. Merritt C. Knotts, our principal, is the guiding spirit of de Vilbus. It is to him, therefore, that we affectionately dedicate this de Vilbus diary. They gave their lives for freedom. This trophy case is a treasure chest. The football, dated November 18, 1931, was V-Day for de Vilbus. We beat Woodward High. The French medal at a student forum on international relations. The National Magazine Award of 1951. And the 51 State Golf Trophy. Milestones in 20 years of achievement. The administration office. Ms. Florence Lands, record clerk. Miss Betty Tussing, secretary to Mr. Knotts. Mrs. Mary Tanberg keeps accurate check of all school and club accounts. The book clerk, Mrs. Margaret Tippett. Mr. Knotts, the voice of DeVilbus. Problems of the day or week are under discussion. Each leaves the meeting with renewed vigor to put theories into practice. Doctor, lawyer, stylist, chief engineer. Which shall it be? Students peruse college pamphlets and career booklets as they await their turn for a conference with their respective deans. John wants to be an engineer. Gwen's a stylist. Phil wants to be a dentist. Selecting the best college for the individual student is a responsibility. Mr. Brown counsels his boys by advising them that certain high school courses are required. English, Mathematics, Science, Languages. He tells us that an A or B average must be held. Miss Pash finishes a telephone call from an employer who inquired about the qualifications of one of our graduates, eager to obtain employment. Gwen is ushered into the office, and with her file in hand, the interview begins. They discuss choice of career, college to attend, and how to apply for scholarship aid. The question and answer session is completely satisfactory. Next, please. Mr. Reddick, the director of extracurricular activities, places responsibility of the student council book into the hands of the president. 
glimpse its beautifully printed pages. Purpose, the student council is a government of the students, by the students, and for the students. Legislative department, consists of a student council representative from each homeroom. Executive department, made up of 14 commissioners, supervise various activities. Judicial department, composed of one chief justice and six associate justices. Magazine drive, an annual event. DHS, top winner, national contest for last several years. Clean up week, once a year. Prism, school paper. Pot of gold, yearbook. Athletics, basketball, football, and spring sports. Student meeting. Mr. Reddick exhorts the students to respect school property. The title of this scene is plain to be seen, Democracy in Action. Orientation. Mrs. Pauline Backus calls a meeting of her orientation instructors. The orientation class is the fountainhead of academic and vocational studies. Freshman students are enrolled in this class. They are introduced into academic and vocational fields. How to study. The Hayes office would not so name this scene, but the DeVilba censor declares it to be a grade D picture. until the leading lady arrives. And with the sweeping gesture here, and a little adjusting there, much industry too, and A is here to stay. School spirit. Actions speak louder than words. This student is telling the world of her fighting loyalty to De Vilbus. Vocations. You sure can go places in America. The speed at which you travel depends upon the knowledge and skill which you packed away. Etiquette. Boy meets girl. Boy meets boy. The people we know are the ones we'll enjoy. Health. Emerson says the first wealth is health. The health unit develops a strong understanding by exercising the pedal extremities of all freshman students. English, the first of the academic subjects. Mrs. Jeanette Brand, chairman of the English department, has for the moment converted her home into an English workshop. The English department is unique in that staff meetings are held evenings in the homes of the teachers. On this freezing blizzardy night in December, members of the department convened to hear reports of the five teachers who attended the National Council of Teachers of English Convention held in Cincinnati. Miss Bloom, Mrs. Nags, and Mr. Vorderberg related some enlightening anecdotes. A typical English classroom. Biographies play an important part in English classroom work. Pupils write book reviews and read them. Students volunteer to report orally on modern biographies.
Shakespeare's theater was unlike ours. Two students point out these differences. the stately classic Toledo Museum of Art. Here it is, the 250 DeVilbus juniors and seniors go every other week for a correlation class in literature, music, and art. They learn about the great masterpieces, like the flute player from experts on the museum staff. Notes will help them remember the unusual details of the painting. And here is the real thing. They see an honest-to-goodness replica of the flute. Does it work? The museum's music director will demonstrate. On to mathematics. We present our math instructors, who, if pictures can be believed, seem to thrive under the pressure of teaching such mysteries as how to make three triangular solids into a triangular prism. How to find the shortest spherical distance between Toledo and London. Apparently an easier and swifter process than finding the shortest financial distance. A rectangle on the blackboard is more than just a geometrical figure. When this student finds the area of its diagonal parallelogram, She's finding the area of the right-of-way of a railroad, and she is using her trigonometry. Sophomores, who are still on the comparative simplicities of plane geometry, use a chalk compass and the radius of a circle to divide the circle into six parts and bisect the angle of a triangle to find the center of the inscribed circle. No math picture could be complete without the slide rule. Here it finds the cube root of a number. On to science. Two general science teachers chart the trees on the campus of De Vilbus. The Norway maple forms the arch over the walk leading to the main entrance. The Lombardy poplars screen off the parking lot. Evergreens, red and white oaks, and the newly planted redbud tree help to make the 26 acres of De Vilbus campus the most beautiful in the state. Science is fun using the principle of light. And in the camera, the student produces a card projector. Remember the song, It Goes In Here and Comes Out There? That's what happens when Mr. Benson proves a scientific theory in chemistry. Two worthy chemistry students continue to stress the scientific method of working and thinking. Dynamic biology. Miss Mildred Schmidt points out the structures on the starfish and demonstrates the procedure of professional snipping before her students gleefully take up the experiment. A beautiful model. The beetle and the bee are compared by two students who point out the differences in mouth parts and wing structures, as well as the similarities in eyes and breathing pores.
this is a micro projector. Not even you, Mr. Amoeba, can crawl out of this one. Physiology, your health and safety. Artists at work, sketching, not scratching, eyes, ears, and skulls. What's coming up or out? A major operation. First, the usual exploration, locating the organs, and explaining their function. And one by one, out they come. Until the master's work is done. Modern physics. Presenting to you a vacuum pump. Does it ring a bell? No, because a vacuum has been produced. When the air is allowed to return, the bell will ring again. Foreign languages. Latin. Latin becomes a language of a living people at this Latin club initiation. French. France is reached more quickly by a French textbook than by TWA. Constant supervision ensures accuracy and expediency in a language. Spanish. In Spanish classes, pupils learn not only the language, but also become familiar with customs and holiday festivities of the Spanish-speaking peoples. The piñata is broken on state occasions. The piñata on the right is a genuine article from Mexico, the one on the left an American make. The class exhibits the breaking of the piñata and the scramble for its contest. Students particularly enjoy the Spanish folk dances, which they learn. History. These teachers of history and government know few dull moments as they constantly gather material to interpret the world they study. The text is the principal source book. Bulletin boards are arranged by students who have brought in pertinent material on government. To keep that bulletin board full takes alert watching in newspapers and magazines by both teacher and students. Maps talk to one who will listen. Could this student have heard the tramp of British feet of World War II across African sands? The weekly history magazine, The American Observer, is the basis of live discussions. Psst. 
Students lead these discussions and can draw out ready response from a class whose information is thus up to date. It's easy to volunteer an opinion in such an atmosphere, and from this comes growth in clear thinking. The library, the meeting ground for those students whose interests are either academic or vocational. With the help of the librarian, Almost any material can be found. Of particular value is the card catalog, a complete file of all the books in the library. The college room in the library annex contains catalogs and yearbooks of colleges and universities. List of available scholarships and merit awards are posted on the bulletin board in the college room. Because of the excellent facilities which DeVilbus offers its students, many win awards and scholarships. This group of 46 winners is representative. Fourth place in the state deserves congratulations. Richard Zimmerman, the winner, is being congratulated by Joe Gillis, Willis Long, and Richard Lashbaugh. Family living. We return to the main library room where family living classes do research work. This group is compiling materials on the subject Preparing for Christian Marriage Today. Family Living equips a student for his place, college bound or not, as a member of a family. Business Education. Recall the sign in the orientation class, you sure can go places in America. Well, here we go, into the vocational fields under the guidance of the business ed teachers. Typewriters click, shorthand symbols take shape, and office machines hum. But speak of machines, and presto changeo, you'll see many in divers kinds. Watch the girl operating the burrow's adding machine. Does it bring back the weary days when adding was done by counting on our ten little fingers? It's still done with the fingers, as you see, but the wheels go round in the machine now and not in the head. Offices may well bid for DeVilbus High students who are instructed in our business ed department. Not every machine in the well-equipped department is brought into focus in this film but you can't name one that is not registered. The Monroe calculator, which this boy is operating, adds, subtracts, multiplies, and divides. Among our count is the 10 key adding machine, which can add, multiply, and subtract, and all by using only 10 keys. There's a marked difference between the 10 key machine and the Monroe adding calculator, which also divides.
We'll pause a moment and let you read what the shorthand teacher is writing on the blackboard. You can't do it? Well, I forgot my glasses, too. The copy must be worthy of this close-up. These skills and drills are emphasized to give commercial students open doors into Toledo's business offices. Now to the typewriter, Miss Secretary, to transcribe those notes. Heads erect and maintain the proper position for typing while Mrs. Legrand dictates the weekly speed test. No foolishness here, we'll wager. Mr. Kiker looks over the situation. The Permo Flux Scribe Dictation Machine. The student masters footwork. Her earphone looks like an earring. She snaps her typewriter into action and away she goes. a student expert on the calculator machine. The mimeograph machine. Do you see final exams piling up? Don't say we didn't give you a look in. Industrial arts. The instructors, Mr. Balsam, Mr. Stalker, Mr. Grubbs, Mr. Hulls, and Mr. Zog. The fishing boy who is being whittled down to size is one of 80 articles which was sent to Columbus for the Ohio Industrial Art Convention this year. The sturdy chair is another traveler to Columbus. The old lamplighter would certainly have loved this, too. The weaver here is one student who handles his work without mittens. In general woodwork and in machine shop, a high quality of craftsmanship is sought. Boys become skillful in manipulating plastics, in carving, weaving, cabinet work, and in operating machines. 